everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Senna so today is a pretty busy day for me because my stabilizer finally came in the mail <coughs> and I have plenty of orders that I need to get through I also have a doctor's appointment later and hopefully if I can get through at least a few of these orders <laughs> I'll be able to drop them off at the um, post office today as well. So that's the plan. I don't know how some people do it. Like recording even, I mean aside from recording every single day for the month of December, even the people that are recording and posting like three vlogs a week but those vlogs are like longer form content so it's throughout their days in the week i don't know how they do it because boy, i feel like this lighting is really 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 bad oops is that better whatever whatever anyway so today uh i mean my appointment's in what a couple hours so i have to leave in a little bit less than a couple hours and i want to at least get i feel like i can at least get through maybe three sweatshirts i just feel like a huge part of me doesn't want these to just like kind of turn into like regular vlogs you know, but also at the same time, I did say that I was just going to take you along on my regular life. And my regular life does involve, you know, having to work on my business and all that jazz. But it's just, it feels like my heart isn't in it, you know? You know how they say, like, food tastes better when it's, like, made with love? And it's just, just my heart doesn't feel like it's in it. Some people post about Bisan's previous videos and like how she looks now. And I was like, she looks so different. Like there's so much sadness and pain in her eyes. Whereas before, like she was, she felt like so light and happy. And I mean, obviously like, Look at what she's going through. Sorry, I'm, I'm on my desk, so every time I move, the camera wobbles. She just looks so tired and just so sad and so defeated and... <laughs> care about us now suddenly i'm starting to see certain people posting more about it and i'm like where have you been for the past two months i'm not saying don't post about it now but like where have you been for the past two months like you just didn't believe how serious it was Twenty thousand people had to die for it to become like an oh maybe i should say something or i should do something Anywho, I'm just going to focus on my work now and try to get as much done as I can and then we'll see what we do for the rest of the day. <laughs> Yeah. They, they don't upset the hospital. They bomb. I've been there. 
before two minutes. <laughs> it's a massacre. Thousands of people are out. Thousands of people. Thousands. All of these people lost their homes. They are, they are evacuating to Shifa. They are sitting outside because there is no places in Shifa. They, they pumped the place outside. They pumped the, the door. I've been there just before two minutes. It could be me. <laughs> Sorry that this is in the way, but currently on my way to my appointment, and I only got two orders done today. Well, not today, but just before I left. My embroidery machine kept, well, the thread kept getting snatched um so every time that happens i have to re-thread it and so that just made each sweatshirt take a lot longer than i thought it would but now we're gonna go to my appointment and hopefully get some medicine and while I'm saying all of this, I just feel like lately, every single time that I've been thinking about all of the blessings that I have, you know, or just like the regular things in my life. Like, for example, right now I was putting on long socks um, to go outside because it's like 38 degrees outside right now. And um, I wanted to wear my boots in case it started raining. And I was thinking like, wow, well, subhanAllah, like I have a blessing of having clothing that keeps me warm. I have the blessing of being able to make a doctor's appointment, go and get some medicine to help heal whatever it is that I'm feeling or whatever it is that I'm going through. You know, I have a form of transportation to be able to take me to that destination without you know fearing explosives all around me it's just you know always learned growing up to compare ourselves and our situations to people that have less than us because we have so many blessings that you know sometimes you don't even think about just finished for my appointment so now I need to go to the post office, drop off these packages, and then hopefully at that point my prescription will be ready and then I can um, pick that up before going back home. That's the plan. Don't stop talking about Palestine. from the post office dropped off my packages and I didn't receive a message that my prescription was ready yet so probably just gonna go home and continue working on these orders so I can get them out to you guys as soon as possible mm -hmm. 